I'm going to try to say what I have to say in a more cryptic way because I obviously cannot say a lot of things here because I will be shadow banned or completely taken down. But I think for those who are ready to hear this message, you might already intuitively know this. Every time they tell you in this whole like spiritual new age thing not to that fear is an illusion to let go of fear this whole this word this one word has so much power and people don't really understand the context behind it because they a lot of people think letting go of fear or fear is an illusion is that you just don't feel it that therefore you stay numb okay and that's what they want. They want for people to stay numb. They want for people not to feel rage or to feel fear. Because if you wake up to what is actually going on and you have those emotions, those emotions are what push you towards the truth, towards safety, towards creating this rebellion that needs to take place for things to actually change here. So this is more about courage to go into something and then the more that you do something, you gain confidence in yourself and that fear starts to dissipate because you're again remembering your own powers and abilities. But I can tell you the things that I have seen, the things that I have experienced are terrifying. Terrifying. So this whole like, oh, the love and light community where we don't instill fear, don't, don't instill fear in people. On one level, I get it because to experience and see the things that I have experienced, most people would, I honestly know that most people would not be able to handle it and would lose their effing mind. Because let me tell you, I was asleep at one point and I was able to do all kinds of crazy, insane shit in this world because I was numb. And let me tell you, it's a lot easier when you don't see demonic entities and see how deep this game is and all of the different things regarding mind control and the subtle energies. So what I'm saying is what is actually supposed to happen here, what they have planned is so fucked up. You know, all those different resets that you hear about? Tataria, Atlantis, Lemuria. Well, we're about to go into another one in 2028, 2029. And what they're doing with this whole ascension, how they're using the whole ascension new age movement is more to funnel people it's to funnel people like cattle into a paradigm for something. There's something that I cannot say here, but maybe you get the idea and maybe you get the picture. So there's something called the comfort implant, which stops people from moving forward. And this is a majority of what people have when they're looking at all of this like new age spiritual stuff. So majority of these individuals that are supposed to be leaders in this community, you are not allowed to be super big if you actually are telling the truth. They will knock you down. They will not let you get huge if you have some sort of semblance of truth. So the Galactic Federation of... They are... Anyone that channels them is either under their spell, so they're unconscious of the fact, they don't know what this actually is, or they are working with them. And they are responsible for the original capturing of this realm and all of the different resets. And the whole UFO disclosure movement thing Disclosure is something that needs to happen as far as getting our true history, what has actually happened here. But of course, they are going to control how this information is disseminated and also use it to funnel people into the agenda, the ultimate agenda 
which if you watch the Matrix movies and you see this, the ending to this movie, then you understand what truth this shows. So the reaping or the harvest, which is talked about in the Bible, the same thing goes on there in the Bible. So because most of it, the information has been inverted and you're actually praising Lucifer, you're pra praising the dark versus the light. The same thing with the reaping and the harvest. We have to know both. To be a good person, to see your shadow, to dive into the depths of darkness, to know thyself, you also are able to see the darkness in the world around you. So this ignorance of the dark is not going to help anyone. And when the reaping comes, the next reset comes, if you know that we and understand the fact that this is a slave planet, that humans are used for an energy source in many different ways, even down to being food, do you understand what each reset is and what the harvest is and what the reaping is?